Kids fans and friends to Indie Cinema Showcase. We're your host, Christina Carmona. And I'm Nan Luis Rome. We're here at Studio Lot Orlando, located in the heart of downtown, to take a look at what Studio Lot is all about. We'll be chatting with Justine Rene and giving you an exclusive look at all Studio Lot has to offer. Let's check it out. Hey guys, I'm here with Justine Renee, one of the co-owners of Studio Lot. Thank you so much for letting me chat here with you today. Thanks for being here. Of course, I had to check it out once I saw it. So tell us about this space. How did you guys decide to open? Because it's only been open one month, right? Yeah, we've actually been open one month. Uh, so us as filmmakers, we decided that when we look around for spaces to shoot for different studios, they're we didn't find a place that offered standing sets. So we decided to build that ourselves. Um, and especially when you're on a limited budget as indie filmmakers, yeah. you can't walk into a police station, you can't walk into a hospital. And if you wanna write these scenes in to add production value, right? you can't film it. So you're kind of out of luck. And so we decided to create a space for filmmakers where they can come in a safe space and affordable space and film in a police station, in a hospital room. We have an interrogation scene, um, office scene, backdrops, all sorts of stuff, and it's accessible. And um, we cater to the indie filmmaker. Right. So we decided to. It's fantastic. So what made you guys decide on what bigger sets you wanted to make? Because you can choose from a whole bunch of different ones. I think it, it's, what are the most difficult sets to find right. and what what sets are used a lot so right. for i know tampa bay and a lot of florida filmmakers make a lot of horror films yes so yes. in horror films you're going to get sheriff department you get police all those type of different characters you're probably going to have somebody who's been shot might need a hospital <laughs> And you can't just go to a hospital and be no. like, hey, I'm going to shoot here. Yeah, I have we a budget of like $100 and right. that's it. Like, no, that's not. So, yeah, we, we decided those are, seen, those are sets that are absolutely needed. Um, and they're not accessible, especially to people that have smaller budgets. And we kind of cater to that, like indie filmmakers, um, music video makers and right. YouTube, all sorts of Yeah, because you got that cool people. graffiti wall. Oh yeah, we do have yeah. that cool graffiti yeah. wall. Yeah. <laughs> um, our our friend Enoch Doristan came in and he painted that wall one day in literally less than an hour. He's an amazing artist. Super cool. Yeah. It looks super good. Yeah. Cool pictures, I'm sure. You have a lot of Instagrammers, TikTokers oh, yeah. that come through. So it's good yeah. for everyone. Yeah, it's great. It's a great place for pictures. Um, and then we put down um, to, to enhance the scene, like cardboard that's graffitied on. So it kind of looks like an abandoned hallway too. So you can use that horror sci-fi. You're giving me ideas now. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what makes Studio Lot different? I think we focus on the standing sets okay. and the set design. Um, a lot of our sets are inter interchangeable. So behind me, we have the executive office. And originally, we started with, hey, an executive office, a presidential suite, a judge's chamber kind of thing. You can 
put different props, different set decorations and use that space. And then I was like, we can use it as a therapist space too. We brought in the couch, we put it behind right, there and you can right. do that. So it's a lot of interchangeable sets too and re really use the space. Um, we do have the backdrops, but I think our main focus is that to have artists who, who can come, the set's already built, we have lights, we have C stands and everything, and it's already there, already made for them. So they can come in and shoot it. And guys, they've even got costumes. We do. I mean, yeah. <laughs> that's all part of it. And you guys are super affordable. Yep. You can find all of that on their website. Where can they go get information? Find you on Twitter, mm -hmm. Facebook. Where's that information? Um, www.studiolotorlando.com and Instagram, Studio Lot Orlando, Facebook, Studio Lot Orlando. Just look up Studio Lot Orlando. We're there. <laughs> yeah, you'll find them. Yeah. Thank you so much, Justine. Thank it was you. a pleasure. Thank you. It was a pleasure. What cool sets. We hope you enjoyed this look at Studio Lot Orlando, and if you're looking for a location for your next production, definitely check them out. If you would like your chance to be featured on Indie Cinema Showcase, be sure to email us at ICSTV at Yahoo.com. And as always, be sure to follow us on our socials at ICSTV on Facebook and ICSTV Show on Instagram and Twitter. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of Indie Cinema Showcase, but as they say in the film industry, that's a wrap. See you next time. Now let's go play with some things. Yes. Okay. What am I doing here? Oh, we both know why you're here. Is this about the donut? Because I didn't take it. Ashton said he saw I don't know who the hell Ashton is! Is that so? Yes! Well, why don't you tell me about this? There was filling all over the wall. I panicked, okay? I panicked. I, I had one bite and the jelly went everywhere and I didn't know what to- But did you have to step in it? You know what? First off, I'm wearing a wedge. And I am appalled that you would think my foot is that large. Are you kidding me? You go ask Ashton what he did with the donut. I'm out of here. Just let me get my shoe on. <laughs>